It's an emergency, a plant in danger of dying. Your task, Year 3 pupils, is to join Pod on his mission to help it live. Annie is the daughter of a superhero pair. And though they love her very much, the two are hardly there. But Annie has a special power and robots on the go to help her learn the things she needs to know. Yes, she has Arlo, Arlo, and a cheeky red robot pod. So here we are and off we go. Oh, Mummy and Daddy said you'd grown to a beautiful big plant. And I planted you in nice rich soil. Oh, Pod, I hope my plant isn't sick. I'll take a look. <laughs> Ah, the garden is doing nicely. Were you talking to that plant? I was talking to Pod. Pod's in the pot? He's seeing if the plant my parents sent me is sick or not. Hmm. Did you mix plant food in with the soil? Yes. And water? Plenty. How about sunshine? I use our sunbeam catcher twice a day. Hmm. I don't understand. You've done everything right. When did you get it? Yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, please grow. Annie, plants need time as well as water, food and sunshine. I didn't know growing plants was so hard. Growing plants isn't hard. You just need to follow a few rules. Rules? Are plants that important? Plants are very important, Annie. Why? Hmm. I think you need to see something. Pod? Hello? You'll be a bigger help if you show Annie a few facts about plants. No, I like it in here. Pod? <laughs> <sighs> I'll get him out. Rewind. Yeek! Now please, do as Arlo asks. OK. <laughs> Off on a mission! First of all, plants are used for food. Strawberries. Are strawberries plants? Of course. All fruit and vegetables are plants or parts of plants. Humans and animals eat plants. They're picking tea. They make drinks from plants too? Of course. I wonder if my plant will grow into a drinks plant. Pods in a supermarket. Plants don't grow there. No, Annie, but there are lots of things that come from plants. Bread's made from flour, which is ground from wheat. Cooking oil is pressed from nuts and seeds. Wood for these boxes comes from trees, and the rubber for these gloves comes from trees too. What else? Here's Roger. He knows all about plants. What have you got there, Roger? It's a cotton wool ball. It comes from the cotton plant, and it's really, really soft. You can see on the plant here, it's almost the same. And those lovely soft fibres mean it's very, very absorbent and good at clearing things up. And if you take those fibres and spin them, you can make them into a thread. And that is a lovely soft thread which is used to make things like shirts and other sorts of clothes because we like having them against our skin. It's a very comfortable fabric. Hey, Pod, look at all these medicines. They used to be made from herbs and other plants. And some of them still are, Annie. Take aspirin, for instance. If you're not feeling very well and you've got a temperature and a headache, well, your parents might give you some of these. They used to be extracted from the bark of willow trees. Trees, yeah, they're useful too, because you can burn the wood to keep warm. But it's not just burning the wood. The wood can be used in all sorts of other ways. It can be used to make furniture. It can be used to build houses. And it can be made into paper and cardboard. Banknotes are made of paper as well. So, really, when you spend money, you're spending wood. All these fruit and vegetables come from plants. But why do we need to eat them, Roger? 
because they contain lots of nutrients and it's important that we get them and the best way is to eat fruit and vegetables five times a day. One, two, three, four, five. But in fact, there are lots of different ways of getting the nutrients and preparing the food. Potatoes, for instance, could be prepared in lots of ways. Baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, boiled potatoes, chips. Do you know what this is? It's a uh, coconut. That's right. And do you know all the things that can be done with a coconut? Well, there are all these fibres on the outside that can be woven into things like mats. And inside, there is this sweet drink called coconut milk, which is full of nutrients. And around that, there's this thick white flesh, which tastes very nice. And sometimes it's dried and used in cakes and things. Here, Pod, you try. <coughs> Sorry. You really should be patient. I'm sure it will grow into a very healthy plant, as long as you follow the rules. I wonder if I've done everything to make my plant healthy. It's time to see something on the care and feeding of plants, Pod. Pod, it's time to go to work. Pod? Pod! Pod. Where are you? Here I am and on my way! Are you sure that you've watered your plant properly? I have, but not that much, Hello. Well, that would be rather extreme. Pod? Yes? Can we see something a little less watery? How's that? Now there's not enough water, Pod. It does show, however, that as long as there's sunshine, some plants can live in very dry conditions and are very good at storing and using small amounts of water. Now there's too much sun and no water at all. Sorry. This any better? Much better. Ah, that's perfect. Plenty of sunshine and plenty of water. I've got more! There are lots of plants growing here. And here's Julian, who looks after them all. How many plants have you got here? We've got thousands and thousands of plants growing here. We've got wheat, barley, maize, all sorts of different plants. How do you make them grow? We help them grow. We have light, we use water, we use soil and we just give them a nice warm temperature to grow in. There's plenty of light in here. Well, today it's a nice gorgeous day, bright sunshine. But in the middle of winter and first thing in the morning and in the evening, it's very dark and the plants need more light. So we use artificial light. Just like Annie's sunbeam catcher. What else do plants need to grow? Well, plants need water. Some plants, like rice, water hyacinths, they need a lot of water to grow in, and they actually stand in water. Other plants, cereals, maize, potatoes, they need water as well, but perhaps water just once a day. Cacti, they need water perhaps every two to three days. So the common thing to all of them is all plants need water. Some a lot, like rice, some a little, like cacti. So, if Annie gives her plant light and water, will it be a healthy plant? No, plants also need warmth. In here, we've got heating pipes round the side for those plants, like these maize plants, that need it quite warm. But also, we can keep the plants cool on a nice sunny hot day by the vents that will open up, just like your windows at home open up, so we can open them up and let the cooler air come in. It's a lot of work looking after plants, Annie. But mine doesn't seem to grow whatever I do. A watched plant never grows, Annie. What? Uh, just kidding. Of course it will grow. You must be patient. I can't wait. I'm too excited. Well, while you're waiting, let's find out a bit about measuring. Measuring? What's that got to do with plants? It's a way of telling how well they've grown. First, let's look at how important measuring is. Pod? Oh, now where's he gone? Pod, Pod? Where, where are, are you? you? 
I'm right here, and off I go. Measuring helps us to do things right, doesn't it, Olo? It helps us make sense of what's happening, so we won't use too much of one thing. Too little. So you'll have exactly what you need. Scientists have to measure in order to test things properly. Peter's a plant scientist. He tests plants. Let's find out how he does it. Hi, Peter. Isn't it obvious if a plant's growing well? Can't you just tell by looking at it? Yes, it is sometimes. I mean, there's really big differences between plants. Um, you can get small, yellow, straggly ones and uh, big, bushy, green ones. And in that case, it really is obvious. But in other situations, it's not so obvious. And then we need to make some careful measurements. How do you test how well plants grow? We measure the greenness of leaves using a green meter. It's uh, a, little, a little machine that's got a light in it, and it shines this light through, through the leaf. The greener the leaf, the higher the reading on the meter, and the better the plants grow. OK, Peter, here are three geraniums. Which one's growing the best? Yes, this, this plant's sm quite small, and uh, it's got pale green leaves. That one's got a reading of 26.2. This one's given a reading of 32.3. And this one's reading 41.6. So this plant's got the highest reading, it's got the greenest leaves, it's the healthiest, and it's growing the best. Hmm, let's find out how other plant scientists test their plants. Oh! Hi, Elspeth. Can you tell me what you're doing? Hello, Pod. I'm trying to measure how well this plant's grown. So what I'm doing is counting the number of leaves it's got and then measuring how big each leaf has grown. Um, and I do that by pushing them into this clever machine. It'll tell me how big each leaf is and then add them all up to give me what's called the leaf surface area of the whole plant, which is a way of telling how well the plant's coping. What other ways are there to measure how well plants are growing? Well, one really easy way is just to cut the plant up and to weigh it and see how heavy the plant's managed to grow. But doesn't that mean killing the plant as well? Well, we've grown these plants for our experiments anyway, so nobody minds um, if they're chopped up. But if you are worried about that, if you're looking at a farmer's field, then you need to use um, a metre, just as Peter showed you. Something like that that will tell you how well the plant's growing without killing the plant. Oh, I hope my little plant stays alive. I'm sure it will. Oh. Oh, what, Pod? Oh. Oh. I'm thirsty. A talking plant? Well, I not only talk, I sing and... Oh, I forgot. A message from your father and mother. Remember to eat up your vegetables because they are good for you. Now, may I have a drink, please? Drink on the way! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no, and the cheeky red robot pot, yes she has. Oh no, oh no, and the cheeky red robot pot. So here we are, and off we Join Pod on another mission next Thursday, the 11th of October. He's back here on BBC Two at the same time, 11.45.